<laughs> Memories. You know what they say, there's nothing quite like your first time. That moment when you embrace your hair loss for what it is and make that bold decision to, no pun intended, shave your head. It is a ballsy thing to do. Especially when all you've ever known is having that beautiful mess of hair on your head. And I think one of the main stresses a person can have when they take this leap of faith is, what is everyone gonna react like? What will my friends think? Are people at work gonna make fun of me? What the f is my mother gonna say? Wait, wait, hold up. Does this mean I'll no longer get laid? So many questions. Good times. Now thinking back personally, I can definitely remember a few highlights. Let's start out with my dearest mother. The lady who made this lovable mess that I call a face. Oh, hey mom. Ah, gaya. Sara din baar rehnda. Tu kadi kar bhi aaja. Chalo, baith ja. Main roti banaundi. Actually, mom. It's fine. I think I'm going to eat a little bit later. I've decided enough is enough. I've been losing my hair for a long time now and you know that. I can't keep holding on to it and pretending everything's okay. I need to embrace it. I need to do something about it and I've decided I'm going to shave my head. A cha shaving head. Wa. Wa bi wa. Wa bi wa. Tera dimag set kya? Mom, I've been losing it for years. I can't keep avoiding the issue. Chalo. आज आ मेरे नाल मैं तनु मॉलिश कराउंदी कोकोनट ऑयल बाल दे विच पाके फर्स्ट क्लास दा बाल सेट मॉम वी बीन थ्रू दिस इट इज नॉट दैट सिंपल चलो जा फिर मम्मी नु कदी नहीं सुनदा तू पुत एक दिन तेरा व्याह होना कुड़ी नु लबना बस मेरा एक गल मान ला कोई कुड़ी आ नु तकलू नहीं चाहदा तकलू कोई नु पसंद नहीं आंदा तकलू मेक यू लुक लाइक क्रिमिनल थग यू वांट टू बी थग नो तकलू नो वन लाइक द तकलू ओ तू किच चल गया मैं रोटी बनाउंदी but don't use butcha taklu so yeah my mom didn't take the news too well she was very adamant that my hair loss could be reversed all i had to do was keep applying coconut oil a method which i had rinsed in trial and error multiple times by this point i don't know i guess she was more reluctant to me losing my hair than even i was anyway after 2 hours spent in a bathroom because i quite frankly had no idea what i was doing at the time i was done but here's the issue my mother was right outside that bathroom and she was ready with the roast and when i say roast i mean me because i was about to get burnt <laughs> See mom, it's not so bad, right? I think it suits me pretty well. I mean, it really could be worse. I mean, it complements the beard. I haven't got a bad head shape. You know, I really think that Right now, room de vich jaake tachi baar nikal, main tenu India bhejna. Wait, what? Utthe jaake hair transplant surgery ka laal aput please mat kar tera maa da besti. But mom, I'm still me. It's just hair. Just hair? Just hair? जब तू व्याह होना तेरा तेरे बुटी की बॉडी की just hair? Mom, me being bald doesn't mean I won't find a nice girl. Mom, calm down. No, calm down. No, calm down. No, no. Ah! Ah! No! Sir Dimash. Okay, so maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but that's how I remember it. But yeah, perhaps not all of that scene was completely accurate. But she definitely had a hard time with it. My mother was adamant that I should go to India because hair transplants are deemed to be a lot cheaper over there. And she was truly convinced that if I didn't go through with it, I would never stand a chance at finding a nice girl one day. So yeah, at the beginning, I definitely think my sweet old mother wasn't a fan. The question is, was it negativity or was it the fact that it was just something she wasn't used to? Who knows. Thankfully, the whole not being able to find a girl when you're bald theory went out the window pretty fast. And as far as the coconut oil goes, might not grow that hair back, but it'll definitely keep that head baby smooth. Mom, if you're watching, I love you. Now what the memories include dating after shaving my head. I remember talking to one girl who I had been in contact with whilst I still had hair. That same week of talking to her, I shaved my head for the first time. And don't get me wrong, she was perfectly aware that I'd done this and she even mentioned it, but we still met up for our date anyway. But honestly, it's so good to finally meet you. Yeah, you too. Oh, I never took you for a hat guy. Oh, this yeah. <laughs> always always been a hat guy i remember on this particular date and even a few after i would always have a hat glued to my head every time i stepped out of the house i guess you can say it was a safety blanket a comfort zone for me i just didn't want the energy of the date and all the attention i got from the girl to be solely focused and based on oh my god he's bald <laughs> okay date's going well so far come on let's take off this hat don't be shy that's it take it off put it on the side it's fine So anyway, let me tell you about the journey here. My god, you don't want to take the train at this time of the year. I'm telling you, people are just going mad. Everyone knows the holidays are coming up, so you know, I think that really delayed things. So yeah, that's kind of the reason I was a little bit late today, but out there and you're just doing your 
thing and why is she looking directly at my head okay it's okay it's okay she's probably just shocked just keep talking keep doing your thing keep being confident oh she keeps on looking what's so fascinating about my head oh this shit's making me nervous no no put the hat down we don't need to put the hat back on be yourself come on be confident keeps on looking at my head she keeps on looking at my head she's still looking she's still looking i think i'm having a panic attack hey my eyes are down here oh <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now on one hand, can I blame the girl? You know, primarily, she did know of me before I shaved my head. Maybe you could sum up her reaction to fascination because of the dramatic change. Who knows, it might be down to the fact that not many guys in their early 20s rock a bald head. I guess it's mainly down to the fact that it can be like looking at a completely different person to the person you once knew. I know I felt like this when I first looked in the mirror. And so I cannot blame the people in my life for having this shocked reaction to the change. Especially because I was having a hard time with it myself. What I will say, if you have a friend or a family member who is going through hair loss and decides to make that jump, make sure that you're there for them as moral support. Hair loss is something that plagues a lot of men with many confidence issues, and you gotta respect the courage that it takes for those who choose to embrace it. And fellas, if you are in that boat where your friends and family's reactions are a little bit harsh, don't even worry about it. The thing is, as long as you accept yourself for as you are, then eventually they will too. The first step is learning to acknowledge this new you with a sense of worthiness, holding yourself as a man in high value. Losing our physical traits is an act of life, something that we all have to embrace in one form or another. And with that being said, I'm proud of you for taking the steps you need to take to embrace yours. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification icon for the latest updates on the videos. And if you need me, you know where I am. Much love.